Well, the stakes are certainly high as Detroit Mayor Dave Bing delivers a new budget plan tomorrow with an emergency manager in charge. And tonight we've learned some of the highlights are good news for public safety, but not so good news for the Detroit City Council. 7 Action News reporter Cheryl Choden is live downtown right now. And Cheryl, what have you found out tonight? Well, Carolyn, we found out that the mayor wants a city council budget slashed by $4 million. The process will go forward like it does every year, but this year, an emergency manager will have the final say. It doesn't change the due diligence and the attitude that I need to go into it with. Detroit City Councilwoman Santil Jenkins is saying tonight, even though the emergency manager, Kevin Orr, has a final say over the final budget, the process will move forward in the morning with the mayor up first. And this year, with the approval of the Financial Advisory Board, the budget will stand at $1.1 billion. And it has to be real revenue, nothing inflated like in past years. We might say that we're going to collect $150 million in income taxes, and then we collect $75 million. Or we'll say, well, this year we're going to sell the, the Detroit Tunnel. You know, we'll get $200 million for it, and, and we haven't sold it yet. It's been put in many budgets, <laughs> but we have yet to sell it. So the Revenue Estimating Conference makes sure that any revenue listed in the budget is real. The mayor is proposing 33% of the budget be used for health care benefits for current and retired city workers. And he's expected to say that city council's budget should be reduced by $4 million, and each council member should have only one staff member. If you want us to do due diligence and to do our jobs thoroughly, then we need people to help us do it. One part of Mayor Bing's budget that might be popular with everyone is a push to fill 40 vacant EMS positions, and Councilwoman Jenkins isn't the only one who likes that idea. It's huge. This is really big, and it's a great thing that the mayor's doing. You know, he's realizing the importance of uh, public safety, and that's all we've been asking for for years. Now, the budget has to be in place by May 24th. We talked to Kevin Orr's spokesperson tonight, and he said when it is all done, the emergency manager can do three things. He can accept it, he can reject it, or he can modify it. It's up to him. We'll have to wait till the end of May to find out. All starts tomorrow morning. Reporting live at City Hall, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News.